Hey guys, so this is the fourth time I have tried to record this. Um, as you can see, I have delivered. Um, he was born on Friday, January 25th at 2.58 a.m. He was 7 pounds, 14 ounces, and he was 21 inches long. So, um, I wanted to do my labor and delivery story because I've had a couple requests for that already. Uh, we just got home today, so that's why I haven't done it. Um, I just did a couple updates. Uh, my little sister is at college, and she's not coming home till this coming weekend. So I've been posting a couple of videos for her. So, um, if you watched my other video, my quick update video, um, I did have to deliver... Um, via emergency c-section oh, so um anyways thursday we woke up at about six o'clock in the morning because alex has to go to work um well he was supposed to go to work um, but i was having contractions uh they were really bothersome and we were timing them and they were consistently seven minutes apart so he called into work and let them know that i was in that i was probably in early labor um, so they were consistently seven minutes apart for probably two or three hours, and then they kind of slowed down and spread out a little bit. Um, and then they regulated again back to seven minutes apart. So about three o'clock that afternoon, 3.30, we went over to my mom's house, um, because I was in a lot of discomfort. So, um, and they were starting to get stronger. So I went to my mom's and, uh, got in her bathtub because she has a, a lot deeper bathtub than I do. So we went over there and uh, after I got in the bathtub, um, about 4.30, 4.35 o'clock, um, they got to four and five minutes apart. So um, we called the hospital and uh, called my mom and everything and we went to the hospital. Um, now, Wednesday, I'd had an appointment with my OB, and I was 1 centimeter dilated and 50% effaced. So, they checked me when I got there. Um, my doctor was not on this weekend. Um, his call, his on-call doctor was um, Dr. Heiss, which he's amazing. Just as amazing as my OB. I like it. I love him to death, too. Um, so, he checked me, and I was 3 centimeters dilated and 50% effaced. So, they just kind of let me do my thing for a little while. Um, my contractions started to get a lot stronger. Um, so we got to the hospital when they checked me the first time. It was about 6 o'clock in the evening. So I had been in labor, early labor, for about 12 hours. And then at 10 o'clock that night, Dr. Heiss came in and checked me again, and I was 4 centimeters dilated. Um, at this point, they were very, very strong. And I know that those of you that watch my birth plan wanted that I wanted to go naturally. I didn't want painkillers, but my hat's off to every woman out there who does it without painkillers. Um, so, uh, I told, at that point, I could be admitted, because he can't discuss any pain meds or any, you know, anything to deal with pain until I was admitted to the hospital. And they won't admit you until you're four centimeters. So, at that point, I was four centimeters dilated, and, um, so he went over some pain meds with me. I didn't want to jump right into the epidural, although looking back, you know, maybe I would have changed my mind, but, um, I, st he, so he mentioned Stadol, which was a painkiller, which he claimed that it was supposed to take the edge off my contractions, and it was supposed to make me sleepier between contractions so I could relax more, which would make me dilate faster. Well, I have to say that that's a bunch of crap because it didn't do anything for my contractions. It did make me sleepy in between contractions, but it didn't it didn't take the edge off of them. So, I ended up saying, you know, let's order the epidural. Um, at that point, my contractions were two to three minutes apart, and they were so strong that I could barely breathe through them. Um, and Alex and my mom were both there, and they were both great. Alex was so supportive, and he, you know, just kept telling me to breathe, breathe, honey, you can do this, breathe, um, and meanwhile, I'm trying to sit still for the anesthesiologist to do this epidural, and every time he would get the needle in my back, I would feel 
a running a sharp running pain down my left side. So it took him about 45 minutes to get this epidural in. When he did get the epidural in, the doctor rechecked me and I was six centimeters. Um, however, a uh, little man's heart rate started to go way down. Um, and it wouldn't regulate. And uh, the doctor didn't like that. So um, he came in and said, you know, we're his heart rate won't regulate. So and that's really making you nervous. So we're going to take you downstairs to the OR and we're going to do an emergency C-section. So my mom ran out to the waiting room and got Alex and he had pretty much just enough time to give me a kiss, hold my leg to put for the nurse to put the catheter in and out I went. So it was really scary. Um the epidural did work, but it was about 10 minutes after I got the epidural that um I had to go down for the C-section and uh, they put me under general anesthetic so Alex couldn't go and um, later on him and my mom both told me how scared he was and how he, you know, lost it. He was really scared, scared of something happening to me or the baby. Um, but my mom was there and his parents were there. So um, anyway, so I went down and the epidural was making me throw up and let me tell you trying to throw up when you can't feel your stomach muscles sucks um, but uh, so they put me under um, when I came to it was really nice because I didn't realize that my cousin Rachel worked in the ICU at the hospital we went to so when I came to she was the first person that I saw which was really nice because it was nice to not wake up to a room full of strangers so I asked her, you know, where am I? Like, I knew that I was in the hospital, but I didn't know what part I was in. She's like, you're in the ICU. Um, the baby's fine. He was very healthy. Um, come to find out, what happened was when they gave me the epidural, my body relaxed, and he dropped into my birth canal, you know, like he's supposed to, but he dropped fast, and the cord was wrapped around his neck. So that's why a little man had to come out quicker than we expected. Um... And I'm not disappointed that I couldn't do my birth plan like I wanted. That pretty much everything got screwed up. <laughs> but um, I'm just glad that we're healthy and he's healthy and happy. Um, but anyways, so after I came to and they got my vitals and stuff, they brought me up to the maternity ward. Um, they won't let anybody hold at the, this hospital. If the mom has to have a C-section, they won't let anybody hold the baby and, until mom does. Um, but our fam, our parents got to see him through the glass. They got to see him in the nursery and stuff. And, uh, they brought me up and, and, uh, I got to hold him. Stuff like that. So they got me into the room, into the postpartum room. And they got, they gave me painkillers and stuff like that. Um, to help with, you know, the incision. And uh, then they brought little man into me, and we had some a lot of skin to skin contact. And I nursed him for the first time, and he latched right on, because I was kind of concerned about that. But he latched right on, and he is a fantastic eater. Um, he is an awesome nurser. He eats like a champ, and he sleeps like a champ too, as you can see. <laughs> so. Yeah, he farts like a champ, too. <laughs> um, anyways, so, um, then the second, you know, the second day, uh, like I said, I had him at 2.58 in the morning. Oh, I'm going to get fussy. Honey, we're all. Oh, it's right here. Want your bank? He just had a moment. Um. Anyway, so I, like I said, I had him at three o'clock in the morning, and about eight o'clock that night, um, they took my catheter out. They took my IV out. Um, well, they took my IV out at midnight, um, when they gave me my last IV pain meds, um, so that was nice, but we, 
were there um, all night Thursday, um, all day and all night Friday, and all day yesterday. Got to come home at 11.30 this morning. Uh, he passed all of his tests, his hearing test, his heel prick, um, his billy test. He passed everything with flying colors. Um, he's a great sleeper. He's just, he doesn't fuss unless he's hungry, really. Wants to be held. Um, he is not pooping meconium anymore. He has regular poop now. Um, and he's a good boy. So anyways, we got home today. And my mom cleaned my whole house pretty much for me, which I was really surprised and I was really happy about, um, and everything. So, um, as far as how I'm doing, um, I'm still sore. Um, they've got me on, on pain meds as needed. Um, it hurts to get up. But, uh, you know, I have a, they did a bikini cut incision. Did a bikini cut incision and everything. But I'm doing well. I'll have eight weeks off. I'll try to do as many videos as I can. Um, like I said, overall, I'm just happy that I'm healthy and he's healthy and that we're both here. And there's nothing wrong with either of us. Um, and, I mean, I'm breastfeeding. I'm breastfeeding like a champ. Um, it is a little bit difficult because, um, well, on the one side because babies tend to favor one nipple over the other. And he favors my right one and not my left one. So the left one is a challenge. But we'll, we'll get it. So, but anyways, that is my labor and delivery story. Um, like I said, I'm doing good now. Um, and he's doing great. And uh, he has his first uh, pediatric appointment on Tuesday. Then I have a follow-up with my OB in two weeks. I have to call and make the appointment tomorrow. So, but, uh, everything was, everything is great. Everything is perfect, and he's perfect, and Alex and I are beyond happy parents. <laughs> so, but, uh, if you guys have any questions or comments or anything like that, let me know. Um, you can leave them in the comments. I'll do the best to answer them all. Um, in the meantime, I will try to do as many videos as I can. I'll be posting quite a few videos up for my sister. Um, if I refer to Aunt Erica, that's who I'm talking about. She's at college. Um, a few hours away. So, um, so you have fun watching those, and I'll try to do updates when I can. Alright, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.